Hi there. This is Stan Lee, and I need your help. I need your help to be Spider-Man. I understand. You've got a lot of questions. First of all, Mr. Lee, aren't you dead? <laughs> Very understandable. Well, the truth is, while my corporeal form did pass on, I am actually a cosmic entity. Surprise! <laughs> you see, a long time ago, there was a problem. There was a problem in the universe, a rift in time and space, and all kinds of manners of creatures were gonna come through. So me and a few other guys, you know, Jack and some others, we decided we would find a way to contain them. So what we did is we created a group who would tell their stories. And in doing so, we was actually able to trap them inside the stories. And this was very effective and it kept these crazy entities and these horrible creatures from coming through to our world. <laughs> but, but, unfortunately, the creatures have become more powerful. Even though more people know the stories than ever before, not as many people are reading the stories. Now, don't get me law wrong. I love, I love all the Marvel movies that they've made. They are fantastic, and I saw every single one that I could. But, but, there's nothing like reading one of my stories of Spider-Man defeating the evil vulture or the Silver Surfer taking on a cosmic being such as Galactus. And unfortunately, now that they're growing stronger, they're in danger of coming through to your world and destroying all of mankind. So that's why I brought all three of you here. Now, Mr. Toby Maguire, it was a pleasure meeting you and working with you when you played Spider-Man. You gave a, a, a good feel to Peter Parker, that, that kind of loser, outsider, didn't know how to talk to girls, that kind of thing. You really got the ball rolling. I loved what you did with the character and how you tried different things. You gave him a sort of an outsider quality. And even though I wasn't such a big fan of the organic little spider webbies, it's okay, you know, Rainey had to do what he had to do, and I was, I was there for it. It got it on the screen, and I would say that you were the thing, even more than the X-Men, that really launched this whole trend in Marvel movies. And for that, I am eternally grateful. But now I'm going to need your help. I'm going to need your help and your buddies here. We're going to need an army of Spider-Men more so than any other character that I created. Spider-Man was my character. He was the one that had as much of my soul inside of him. The outsider, the, the misfit, the guy who never quite fit in. And that was me as well when I was younger. Felt that mortal danger when I was serving in World War II. And I feel that there's a bit of me in Spider-Man. So, I'm gonna need you to take up that reign once again. Hey, I know you're a little older, but hey, you were about my age when I started Marvel Comics. So I think that you are gonna do great, kid. You're gonna do great. You're gonna have the out of the hand shooters, but uh, hey, it's what people expect. And you're gonna help save the world, all right? So hang tight, I need to talk to your buddy here Andrew, Andrew Garfield, so good to talk to you. First of all, I love that you kept with the photography, just like with Toby there. You kept with the photography, with your character. I love what you did with Spider-Man. A lot of people, look, you know, I read the reviews too. <laughs> A lot of people didn't like your films, but I love them. I love that you kept, more than anything, you kept the humor of Spider-Man. You kept the fact that no matter what, this is a guy who goes out and he saves the day 
and he keeps his spirit up no matter how many times he gets knocked down. And that's why I think you're going to be an invaluable addition to the spider family. So you, of course, are going to finally get the little web shooters as well. And you're going to get all the powers of Spider-Man. Now, look, I know you didn't ask for this. None of you asked for this. You didn't ask to be real Spider-Man. But I'll tell you why in a moment. But I'm going to need your help, Andrew, just like I do with Toby. We're going to need your help. Tom, Tom, gonna need your help too. Now, you are the most recent Spider-Man. You're also the one who's closest in age to where Spider-Man was when he got bitten by his radioactive spider. More than anything, I need you because you're the one that right now, at this moment, people are connected to as Spider-Man. You're the one that is going to infuse the others with power and help them to save the day. If you're not on board, Tom, Mr. Holland, we, we, we're done for, okay? So I'm going to need your help. Now, all three of you, here's the thing. In about 48 hours, Dr. Doom, Galactus, a lot of other really bad things are going to come breaking through a portal in time and space. They're finally going to do what me and Jack tried to stop them from doing 40, 50 years ago. They're going to come into our world. They're going to cause all kinds of chaos. Now, here's the thing. You're going to have a chance to stop them right at the beginning. They're going to be relatively weak <laughs> at the beginning. They're still going to be crazy strong, but they're going to be relatively weak. Spider-Man can't beat up Galactus. He just can't. But with the three of you together, I'm going to infuse you with the powers of Spider-Man. I'm going to give you the costumes that you need to fight crime. You're going to have everything you need. But it's not just that. It's not just that. You've got to make everyone believe. You've got to give people hope. And at the critical moment, you're going to need to take off your mask. And you're going to need to show them who you are. You're going to need to show them that you're Toby, that you're Andrew, that you're Tom. That you are the symbols that people have been believing in without even realizing that's what they were doing. And if you do that, what will happen is... That belief, that energy, it's going to flow back into you. It's going to give you more power. It's also going to give me more power. It's going to allow me to do something that I wouldn't have been able to do otherwise. It's going to be able to let me power up some of the other actors from the movies. You might find yourself suddenly fighting alongside Black Panther. You might find uh, Tony Stark come flying in to save the day. And of course, a little Thor action wouldn't hurt. <laughs> but none of that will be possible unless all three of you are on board. Unless all three of you are willing to take on this power and do what needs to be done and to put your life on the line. Now again, I know that none of you ask for this. You act as, you, you just play and pretend. And that's okay. And if you want to refuse, that's okay. But the world needs you. I, Stan Lee, I need you. And if you can do this, I know that you can save the day. So what do you say, kids? Are you ready to be Spider-Man? <sighs> Great. I knew I could count on all of you. So prepare yourself. You're about to get a big influx of energy. And you're about to save the day. Remember, you can do whatever a spider can. So good luck, kids. Make mine marvel. And Excelsior! Hey there, Stan Lee here. So glad that you're enjoying these role plays. If you've been enjoying what you see, would you do me a favor? 
go ahead and subscribe to Roleplay Riot or you watch another video. I got more. I got tons. And hey, you're doing great, kid.